Okay. Uh, what is your name, sir? Sorry? What is your name? Thomas. Thomas. You want to say the full one? You can, you can, you can spell your name? Uh, I'll say the full Estonian version. That's uh, Thomas Kirotta. Thomas Kirotta. Huh? Yeah. What, what do you do? Sorry? What do you do? What do you do? What I, do you do? I don't understand what you're saying. And what is your... What do you do for a living? Oh, what do I do? Uh, so I'm a busker. Um, yeah, street musician. And a singer, no? Yeah. What, what is... Uh, what kind of music do you play? I play kind of uh, acoustic... Um, I don't even know how to describe it. I guess uh, most people would say like maybe indie, indie kind of sounding indie. stuff. Yeah. Uh, where is your? Where are you from originally? Estonia. Estonia. Oh. And what is the what is the capital in, in Estonia? Tallinn. Tallinn. Yeah. Have you heard of it? No, no, no. I need to go one day. I only went to uh, Hungary, uh, Vienna, Austria. Um, this is Slovenia. Okay. But never been to, never been to, never been to. Ah, what is your country? Estonia. Estonia. <laughs> I saw her. <laughs> no, but uh, what is the capital? Tallinn. Tallinn, no? Tallinn. Yeah. Tallinn, yeah. Is it for? Uh, is I going to? Uh, is I going to your country? Which which uh, places you recommend me for to know? I would recommend uh, just uh, Tallinn, uh, the old city, because uh, I think it's like the biggest in Europe or something. It's quite big. So the old city uh, is uh, preserved how it was from like the medieval times, and um, also just the nature, because uh, that's that's the two main things. Just to see the nature, go to like a small maybe village or something like that. Maybe a little uh, there's like um, uh, farms for tourists you can stay on a farm. What is the more the, the more famous in 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 Estonia? More famous uh, landmarks. Landmarks. Do you know all of them? Landmarks. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's funny to say in like in English. I've never said, no? said them. I never said them in English. Really, I don't know how English people say it. But uh, in in Estonian. Uh, okay, I know one. It, one's called Pat Mar Margarita or something like that. Uh, it's uh, it's like a. Uh, town, uh, it's like a tower in the old town, and uh, it's just bad as hell, and everybody wants to see it. <laughs> that's <laughs> but do you know where it is? Langmar, no? Langmar is famous, like place. a tourist attraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's one of them. It's called Fat Mar. Mar Fung, Fung Fat, Fat Margari Margarita, I think. Yeah. Bucks, bu Bucks <laughs> Margarita. Like, like the pizza. Yeah. Margarita, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, do you know, uh, in Italy, people go see the Tower of Pisa. Yeah. Well, that's that's Fat Margarita. You can see Fat Margarita. <laughs> in, which, in which language do you speak? In? Estonian. We have our own language. Estonian. Mm -hmm. yeah. But do you speak English as well? Or? Uh, people in Estonia speak English fairly well. Uh, on average, but uh, it's not it's not like a language official language. Of the country. No, it's official language. Just, language just is the, the official language is Estonian. Just right? Estonian. Yeah, you, uh, you can teach me one word in Estonian. Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna a nice word or a bad word? What do you mean? Do you wanna like a rude word or a rude rude, rude like uh, do you want a swear word? Ah, so. Do you want a swear word? Yeah. Yeah, do you? <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll teach you. I'll teach you a swear word. So, uh, if you want to say, uh, if you want to say dick, if you want to call someone, yeah. a, if you want to call someone a dick, you say yeah. muin. 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 You have to. You have to make the n really like uh, really uh, soft. Muin. <laughs> it, it can't. Yeah. Can't. Oh, can't. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, we, we, we use it very often. It's uh, bit. Bit like with a V. With a V. 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 Ah, uh, V. No, V. V. Not, not, not B. V. Okay, say again, you? Bit. <laughs> Similar to <the> bitch. <laughs> it's close enough. It's close enough. Okay, um, it is, is the is the euro used in Estonia? Euros, yes, exactly. Yes, Euros. Huh? Mm -hmm. I, I listen in 
in 2011, no? To start I to... think so. I think so. I can't. I can't remember anymore. But I think it was 2011. Yes, yes, Estonia. In which part of Europe is? Which part of Europe? Uh, I think uh, it's it's uh, rather considered um, Eastern Europe, but uh, but uh, it's kind of like a mix of Eastern Europe and and, and Nordic, like Scandinavian, the, the culture almost. I would say. Uh, is, is, is Estonia is a Nordic? Nordic country. Some people, some people consider it a Nordic country. Yeah, some people do. Uh -huh. um, but uh, but sometimes I've seen it. I've heard it be. Considered. Yeah, but because the economy in Estonia is good, no? Yeah, it's it's quite decent. I guess that's also why it's classed uh, separately. So, some people class it as North Northern Europe or or uh, like Scandinavian to, towards that area. Not actually Scandinavian. What do, you mean, what do you mean the colors the, the, of the Estonian flags? It's uh, blue, uh, which represents the sky, I believe. Uh, yeah, I then see. it's uh, black, which represents the earth, the ground, you know, uh, like, because they, Estonians are uh, historically been farmers. So that's black, and then uh, there's white. I don't know what that is, probably ice. <laughs> uh, yes. yeah, what is probably. another? A blue. blue, black, black, white. White, white. What do you mean? What? White. Is... I think white is. Uh, I, I I assume that it's like kind of represents the snow and the cold and the, all that all that stuff. But uh, I, I think uh, I think it might have represented like something like uh, freedom or I don't know something uh, more of a metaphorical. Uh, what is what is the what is the difference in, in your opinion? The difference between London and Tallinn, or, or the English, the English people, the Estonian people. English people and Estonian people. I would say that uh, in Tallinn it's quite similar. The way that people kind of uh, don't, uh, they kind of go about their own day and they don't talk very much. Like you know, they're kind of like closed off, uh, business oriented. Uh, they gotta get to work. They gotta do their own stuff, and um, and they don't really communicate like a smaller uh, in a smaller place they might. Uh, but what's what's uh, I would say I would say uh, in London I feel like most people for me I felt at least are more welcoming, a bit more warm than they would be in Tallinn. Ah, yes. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh yeah. I would say so. Yeah, oh. because uh, Estonians are. Also, it's kind of a stereotype that we're cold and and closed off, and we don't show our emotions. Oh, good. In which which countries do you know? Which, tra which countries do you have you traveled? Have I traveled? Uh, I've actually uh, traveled quite a few countries uh, because when I was, I've I've been hitchhiking around Europe twice. So Turkey, Turkey. No, which countries? Uh, so I've been to. Uh, I've been to Latvia, Lithuania, ah, Latvia. Poland, uh, Germany, um, Belgium. Uh, then I've been to Netherlands, uh, Austria, uh, Italy, Croatia. Uh, I just drove through Slovenia. <laughs> just drove, drove through, <laughs> but uh, didn't stop there. Uh, Croatia is, is is one country uh, Russia, I, I want to yeah. travel. Uh, Russia? No, no, no. Croatia. Croatia. Croatia okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's very nice. It's very yeah. nice. It was uh, it was uh, quite uh, like me being. I've never traveled. I had never traveled before, and I went there, and I went in the sea, and I was floating like so easily, you know, because the water is so salty, and it came as a surprise to me because in the Baltic Sea it's not as salty, so you have to you have to swim, put more effort into swim. Oh. You can ah, yeah, just yeah. kind of like lay there and tan <laughs> in the yeah. water. Yeah, yeah, you're just like floating. Ah, it's floating, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the water is so salty there. Uh, and, and what is a, what is a typical food in, in Estonia? Typical food? Typical food. Uh, the most typical for is... Example, for example, when, when I went to Hungary, I eat 
gulas? Do you have gulas? In yeah, yeah, Argy? it's popular. It's popular, but it's not. Uh, it's not from Estonia. We eat it, but it's not from Estonia. I guess that's the Russian influence on Estonia. But uh, uh, for us, it's just like potatoes, um, pork, and let's say like uh, pickles, uh, sauerkraut. Do you know sauerkraut? Like mm -hmm. uh, it's like uh, fermented cabbage. What is that? fermented cabbage? Ah, cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's, but it's best, vegetable. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of the typical. No, but but staples. what is what is the most common typical food? In, I think in... I think that's about like potatoes. We eat a lot of potatoes, a lot Pota of pork, potatoes, pork. a lot of potatoes and pork. That's but about no, it. But no, but no typical name like gulas, as like this in. Uh, like an actual or dish. Or sushi in Japan. No. Um, there are a couple couple of ones like that but uh i would i would if i had to say to someone that's never been to Estonia, i would just say that's like the main thing that people eat there and it's not like actual dish with a name it's not like you know in thailand they have pho you know it's not that kind of we don't have a dish like we have a couple ones but i would say the most popular is just potatoes we potatoes. eat a lot of potatoes uh -huh. potatoes and pork Potatoes and pork. That's yeah. the staple. Everybody eats that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. What, is the, is what, 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 what do you think about London? What I think about it. Oh, yes. I, oh. I really like oh, it. One anecdote, one anecdote yeah. in, in your life in London. Oh, okay. Like a funny story. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to think about it. There's probably been quite a few, but it's kind of hard to think about it on the spot. Uh, let me have a quick think. Maybe um, when do you, you perform? Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you one. So I was singing Hallelujah. And, ah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you there, play Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. And there was a guy who was uh, begging for money on the street. Yeah. But he wasn't just a beggar. He was also a crackhead. And he was crazy, mental. Yeah. And he got angry that I was singing hallelujah because everybody sings hallelujah and, and it was like uh, he was sick of the song so he ran towards me about to like punch me <laughs> fist in the air fist in the air and that's when I was singing I was singing a long high note I was just closing my eyes singing like that and he and I opened my eyes and the sky is like that and and then I, I was startled. I was like a deer in the headlights. I didn't do anything back back then. I was like a different person as well. So I was like more uh, timid, and uh, and I, I was just startled. And so he didn't hit me. He just ripped down my microphone, and luckily nothing broke. And then I called the cops, and they arrested him. It all of this took four hours for them to actually arrest him, and uh, finally they yeah. messaged me next day. We let him out. He didn't have any money. We couldn't find him. So nothing terrible, happened. no? Yeah, Isn't nothing that happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing ended up happening. Just but, me wasting but my time. Punch you or almost punch you? Almost. <laughs> almost. Didn't, <laughs> didn't punch me. Like, why? <laughs> why he? Reacted? I don't know. Maybe because uh, I I looked like a back then I was like very um, uh, I was like um, very timid, very shy compared to what I am now. So maybe he saw that I'm scared and you know, he didn't actually want to punch me because of that. But if I would have been like that, maybe he would have, you know. <laughs> yes. Do you have any tattoos? Yes, I do. Uh, it's 28 here. Because what do you mean this tattoos? 20? Uh, this is uh, when I was uh, actually uh, like, when I first came to London, I was just uh, sleeping in a tent and I was like, uh, it was hard times. So I just put like a, I, I got this tattoo from a drug dealer uh, that I met on the street and, and uh, I wanted to get this 28 because I wanted to like promise myself that I'm gonna be I'm gonna have like a lot of money and whatever at this age uh, but it was more to get myself through those hard times and actually I don't I don't it's not a goal anymore but it was just to keep me going in that time oh, what is the your your favorite song do you play maybe or, or your favorite your favorite song in your life uh favorite song uh anything new that i've uh, that i'm learning at the moment it's uh i want to dance with somebody with by whitney houston it's quite like oh, I, yeah, I enjoy yeah. it very much uh can you feel the love tonight by elton john those two are really like i enjoy elton them. john oh. yeah elton john oh. i enjoy those okay thank you so much for your help. no problem mate. <laughs>